Hello, so I was just watching this video that Luke Smith posted today, uh, and uh, he mentioned me in that video. Uh, in this video, he's talking about FFmpeg and how you can do video editing from the shell with that. And he mentioned that he believed that I used FFmpeg uh, for a lot of my uh, videos. Uh, and I do use FFmpeg a lot, but most of my videos, like the one you're currently watching, which you just saw an intro, and then there's a little en uh, outro or exit at the end, as well as a little QR code that no one seems to have scanned so far. Um, I actually use Melt for that. So what is Melt? Uh, so there's a program called MLT, which is the back end for applications like Caden Live, which is a video editor, and Melt, M-E-L-T, is uh, basically a program that lets you um, uh, script out MLT scripts so you can script out video editing. Uh, and this is actually the script that I use. I've changed a little bit, uh, and I've showed it before in videos. Basically, what this script does is, after I record videos, like the one I'm recording now, I can go in the folder they're in, and I just type in tutorial render. And what it does is it creates a new folder, an output folder, and then adds my intro and my outro and that QR code to each video and puts it in that output folder, and then I can upload it. So, and I love FFmpeg, so you might ask, why don't you use FFmpeg for this? And the main reason is, if you look here, so I have my intro video, and then it says 30 here, mix 30. Um, what that's doing is, for each one of these, so we have our intro, the main video, and the ending video, and they're each being faded from one to the other over 30 frames, which should be a second of the video. I don't know how to fade from one clip to another using FFmpeg. So that's the main reason I use Melt in this video, or in this script, rather than FFmpeg. Uh, but I do love FFmpeg, and I do recommend checking out Luke Smith's video, because he talks about a plugin you can get, uh, I don't know if plugin's right on, right, right, word for it, but you can actually use FFmpeg to stabilize video, which I did not know, uh, and I haven't looked into that yet, but that's pretty cool. Uh, also, you know, if you go to my website, filmsbychris.com, you can type in things like MLT, uh, or Melt, or FFmpeg to see a bunch of the videos I've created, but I've done full series. I have a whole bunch of videos right here on FFmpeg, although these videos are probably a decade old at this point. It says last time I updated the playlist was in 2014, but I can tell you these videos are definitely older than that. Actually, let me, let me click on one and see. Uh, oh yeah, look at that screen. Uh, yeah, 2010. So yeah, just about a decade old. So... Uh, there's that playlist. I'll try to link to this in the description of this video. I have a whole video playlist I did a few years ago on Caden Live, which is a graphical video editor for Linux. And then, of course, I also have a series I did uh, about eight years ago, because uh, there's clips in this video of when I found out uh, the gender of my daughter. Uh, so she's seven, so these videos are at least seven years old. Not a whole bunch, but these are specifically on using MLT and Melt to edit videos doing, uh, I think I did stabilization, video stabilization and that, joining clips, fading clips, trimming clips, adding filters and effects. Basically anything you do in Caden Live can be done from the shell using Melt and MLT uh, because that's the back end for Caden Live. And as I might have mentioned in my Caden Live series, I'm not percent sure if I did, there's actually an option when you go to export a video to export a script and it will actually generate, I believe, an XML file with your project settings and a script file that you can Run, and then you can run that script from the shell. So you can go in and modify that. You can design a whole project in Caden Live, export it to a script, and then look at that XML, which is kind of clunky, but you can go in there and you can actually generate XML. You can write a script that will automate a lot of video editing that way as well. So yeah, check those out. Again, uh, check out Luke Smith's video on FFmpeg, uh, where he talks about it a bit. And of course, you can always search at my website or check out these playlists for those type of topics. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.